actually don't know what to do with these. Uh, two very... It's duplex jigs having fun with each other. I don't know how else to put it. Hey y'all, Iron here, and welcome back to our normal playthrough of Gold Rush the game. Uh, today we're going to be working on setting up our Tier 3 wash plant. We skipped Tier 2 because of the drilling we did and the gold nuggets we found. We have so much money that we can just make the jump to Tier 3 automatically. So what we're going to do is actually go through what the setup looks like first, and then show you how I did it in game. So on the right hand side here, you can see there's a diagram showing everything we're going to set up using the letters A, B, C, D, and E, and F. Um, and what happens here is at top, we have the letter A, which is our shaker. This is where we feed our pay dirt in. Letter B is where the bigger rocks get thrown off. A letter C is actually the shaker to trommel sluice box. Uh, we do capture some gold here. Uh, D is the trommel itself. So rocks and dirt going through here will get sprayed with more water and shut down into E, which is the trommel to duplex jig uh, sluice boxes. Once again, uh, gold can be trapped here. Um, as the pay dirt goes into the duplex jig, it gets filtered through into some buckets. At the end of these duplex jigs, we actually add hog pan pumps uh, so we can get that last bit of gold before everything flushes out. So let's hop on in and get going then. So the first thing we need to do is actually get into the machine shop and start buying and renting everything we'll need. So first on up, we'll grab uh, the big excavator here. We're actually just going to rent this. Uh, it costs a lot of money, so it's easier just to rent at this point. And then we're going to grab the shaker to rock sluice box. So this is where the ro bigger rocks will just kind of shake off and go to the ground since we're not going to do anything with those. So we'll buy that and then we'll actually um, grab some trommel to duplex jigs sluice boxes as well. Uh, we'll be using two of those. And once again, I'm just going to buy these uh, better. They're so cheap, it's easier just to buy them at this point. All right, next up, I need to get my shaker to trommel sluice box. I uh, just only need one of these. Uh, it's, again, cheap, so we just purchase it. Here's the trommel that we'll be using. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, purchase this one. Uh, that way, if anything breaks or anything, that I can make the repairs, and it's not for a rental. It's for my own uh, item that I own. Next up is the conveyor belt hopper and the conveyor belt itself. These are great uh, for loading into the wash plants. So uh, must buy basically, or in this case, I'm a rent, uh, but it's great for feeding in material from the dump trucks. Uh, I'm going to grab a big fuel tank right here and a shaker as well. The big fuel tank will be used to supply gas to everything on the uh, uh, claim with us. Uh, so it's nice to have. Uh, here's the duplex jigs. Just going to rent these out um, at the meantime. Jump over here. We need a power generator. This actually uses diesel. Um, so why we need a lot of diesel on the claim. All right, so in the store, what we're going to be looking for here is steel cables. Uh, we use steel cables with the excavator to move equipment. So we hook it all up and drag it around the claim. Uh, you can see me here kind of looking around here, trying to figure out which size cables I want to use. I settle on the five meter cables. It seemed to kind of be the goal, go to uh, when moving stuff. Also, we're going to need a uh, water pump. So we're going to grab this big diesel water pump. Need a lot of water uh, for these wash plants and everything that we're doing. We'll then shuffle over here and grab a wave table that'll help process pay dirt and get all the gold out of it. Then we'll also grab this magnetite separator. Uh, magnetite's used to upgrade our blacksmith with perks such as quicker gold bar smelting. So we got everything loaded up in the truck, uh, the cables, the wave table, and the magnetite separator. So what we're going to grab now here is the big diesel water pump and uh, head back to the claim with it. Now you can see here, I got to back up and once again get it attached to the truck, but sometimes I just have issues with <laughs> getting things going. Maybe I'm a little too heavy on the keyboard. Uh, so you can see I got it lined up here. I'll reach back and throw it up on my truck. All right, now that's uh, hooked up, we'll go ahead and jump in my truck and head out. And now that we're back on the parcel, we're actually going to the tent and access the tablet and unlock worker mode. This allows me to hire workers, which added benefits such as less repairs, uh, maybe finding more gold in certain machines, which is a really nice feature. Heading out of the tent now, you can see this is the area where we'll be putting all our wash plant pieces. This is where the conveyor feeds into the shaker, which then feeds into the trommel. Uh, so just scoping it out, basically. So now it's time to get everything hooked up to the excavator and dragged over. So what we do is get the bucket in position, attach the cables, and move it over. Uh, as you can see here, it actually highlights the area where they want you to put it. You just have to make sure it's in the correct direction when you do this. Uh, if you do that, then all you have to do is bring it over, drop it into the area, and it actually just installs itself very nicely. 
So you can see here I'm wiggling it over and there we go. I'm in. All right, now we're going to bring the shaker over uh, and get that loaded up. So you can kind of see here I'm dragging in. It's wiggling a little bit. The excavator has trouble with hills, so it kind of slows down when you're trying to get up there. We do manage to make it up the hill, though, and get the shaker in place at the wash plant. And then next up is the conveyor belt. Um, so I managed to get it up here, do a little 180 and get it stuck into its spot. All right, and then we're going to bring over the generator. This thing is the heart and soul of our operation. Uh, it has to be close by because there's so many plugs that we need to run to keep everything powered and going. Um, so we're going to put it over here near the camper and then eventually move it over into its final resting spot. But for now, I just want to place it here. This is the conveyor belt hopper. Uh, what we do is we bring over our pay dirt to here and we load it in. It goes up the conveyor belt and through the wash plant. This is great for dump trucks because they just back up and dump the pay dirt right into it. Now we're bringing over the shaker rock drop off. Essentially what this act as is any big boulders that can't make it through to the next part of the wash plant just get thrown off off of this plate basically onto the ground. So it's very important to kind of keep rocks moving um, and keep them out of our way so we can get the real pay dirt washed through. Next up is the trommel. In the wash plant, what happens is anything that makes it through the shaker gets fed into a sluice box into the trommel. Inside of the trommel, it shakes around, gets washed out. So all the finer material actually falls into the sluice boxes below the trommel so we can catch any of the finer gold inside of the pay dirt coming through. And now we're going to attach the sluice box for the trommel to duplex jig. And we kind of hit a big issue here and it really messes us up. Um, after I attached that for some reason, everything just kind of reset on the parcel and dropped down. You can see my truck floating down. You can see the duplex jigs on top of each other doing something very naughty. Um, so I'm kind of saving and reloading, trying to figure out what happened here. I actually don't know what to do with these. Uh, two very it's duplex jigs having fun with each other. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> so you can see I hit them a little bit. I'm kind of looking around in amazement. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to go from this situation. All right, so now the excavator actually turned invisible and came back. Um, and then I tried to get one of these sluice boxes uh, attached with cables to my excavator, but they actually got melded together somehow as if I just used some super hot weld and made them fuse together. So it's kind of a little chaotic at this point, um, but I'm pushing through. Um, so you can see here, I'm grabbing this sluice box and I'm going to go drop it off uh, with hopefully without much issue, such as teleporting to a different realm in this world. All right, so I'm trying to aim it and just praying at this point. And there we go. It's in and good to go. So we're not freaking out now. Now, I don't know what to do with these duplex jigs since they're stuck together. I've tried everything to loosen them. So what I opted to do was just attach a cable to them and bring them over and shake them around a little bit and hope that they manage to catch on at least one of the areas they're supposed to be in. This actually leads to trouble in a quick second that you're going to see. So I'm still trying to get these in here. And then it finally happens. One of them catches, but snaps my cable, which is even worse. Now I got to flex this duplex jig that's kind of upside down. So I'm going to kind of mess with it with the excavator uh, like just kind of trying to teeth it over and get to a spot where I can actually cable this thing. So it finally works with me and agrees to get on that side at least. So now what we got to do is we got to cable this and somehow get it back into its spot. So I have a cable right here and I go ahead and try to slap a cable on. And you see I'm having trouble for a second. So I'm getting frustrated and I attach the cable and <laughs> the duplex jig just rockets into the air and disappears. So now I'm running around looking for this thing. I don't know where it went. I don't know if I'm at the start all over again. And I get lucky and I managed to spot it. You're going to see here in a second, I look over and it's in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to do a retrieval mission and get this thing out of here. Uh, so I managed to get it out. And what we're going to do here is get it back into its spot. But it's given me so much trouble uh, with all the weird issues we encountered. Typically, I don't hit this many bugs when I'm playing this game. So this was kind of an experience for myself. Uh, but after a little bit of work, uh, we managed to uh, get it in to its spot. And it's happy and I'm happy. 
even though I got to do some cleanup now around the parcel. Now I got to fix my generator. It managed to tip itself over while I was doing other things, trying to fix the whole mess going on. Uh, as you can see here, I cable it, and what I do is pull it over. So that's pretty simple, thankfully. Next up, I have to run my power cables on the whole wash plant. Um, so I decided to speed this part up a little bit, but I still wanted to include it because it allows us to show some of the mechanics that we do um, that might get cut out of these YouTube videos. Uh, the fun thing about simulation games for me is all the mechanics and things you have to do. Some might find it tedious, but to me, it's a blast to do. I love cable management, trying to figure out where everything's gonna go, um, and then using little tips and tricks such as right-clicking to straighten up the cables or make them a little bit easier to work with. Um, so I just kind of wanted you to see what I go through in a quick way of how to get everything plugged in, uh, and then also get hoses running so we have some water set up. Now that that is completed, we're going to set up the hog pan pumps off of the duplex jigs. Uh, so what I do is I actually grab the hog pan pump that we're using in the first episode uh, when we are just using some shovels to get our gold. Uh, we're going to set it up under this duplex jig uh, to catch the gold from there. Then I run off to the store, I buy another one that's going to run off of the other duplex jig. Um, this is going to catch the last amount of gold that's coming through on the pay dirt. Um, that way we're really squeezing as much profits out as we can. Uh, we put buckets underneath these duplex jigs um, because what the duplex jigs is actually catch uh, finer gold and ball bearings and empties it in these buckets. Last thing we need to do is set up our final wash area. So we have our table set up, our separator, and now we got a uh, mat cleaner as well. Uh, so we get that set up for later when we're actually cleaning out the pay dirt. So we're going to wrap up by taking a quick tour around the wash plant, showing off everything that we set up. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Everything kind of helps boost these videos for me. I love making content for this game. So any little bit helps uh, to kind of get my videos out there. So thank you again for watching, and please have an amazing day.